Hello my dear friends, welcome to the Saturn Chronic channel and today we have another Walkman on the bench. Um, this this guy is actually properly working, there is no issue with it, but today I would just like to see how what's inside, how it's made inside, because I was taking apart and repairing a Panasonic Walkman, uh, Discman, let's say, or CD Walkman, oops, go back, and I would like to know how this guy compares to another one, so the other guy is Panasonic or Matsushita, was made in Japan, this guy is better, let's see, made in Malaysia, just you want to compare how the guy made in Japan compares to the guy made in J Malaysia, also this guy has some kind of goop on it, maybe while I'm on it, I will try to kind of repair all this crap, We'll see, I'm not even sure what it is, it's like chewing gum or something, some kind of glue. Anyways, let me go and take it apart. Maybe I would need to use some kind of solvent. It's not the appropriate screwdriver. Is there more screws or something? No. Well, it's just a uh... hey. Oh, here we are. Oh, wow. <laughs> the level of... But the motor is kind of very similar to what I have in Panasonic. Believe you or not. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna take some pictures when I'm disassembling this stuff okay I <laughs> just detached this cable and here we are so here is the Mac and a few more a few more uh, wires here just a motor another motor and the blue one I don't know what the heck is this nice so this is our board and um, Oh, we have some potentiometers here to probably to tweak some things. It's actually looking good to me as well. Not too bad. Not too bad. There's a whole bunch of mm, capacitors, but it looks like uh, uh, the all decent capacitors like Nichicon, Elna. What is the Sanyo? It's actually quite similar. Elna again. It's a resonator. Mm -hmm. One capacitor is missing right here. There is something missing here. Um, some kind of potentiometer, by the way. Yeah. It's only like few FE bias, right? This, this, and this capacitor is missing. Everything else is, seems to be in place, but like it's just. Um, hmm. There are some, some test, testing points like this. It says VCC, AVC, AVCC, RF, ground, AVCC, ground, ground again. Ground, oh, lots of ground, <laughs> lots of grounds. VCPU, VC, uh, TV, FOK, T, TX. Bon. I hope, <laughs> can you imagine there's a TX or X and like uh, to tweak something? Yeah, there is a, another potentiometer. Okay, this is T gain, this is F gain, and this is TR, whatever those means. Two capacitors are electrolytic missing here. 
a uh, few small capacitor well, like lots of stuff missing in this area yeah unpopulated whatever it is but those are seems like a discrete components it's not like just some kind of i see missing unless there is oh wow yeah if you look at the bottom a lot more stuff going on okay so yeah looks like the majority of capacitors are just good stuff I'm not sure about this guy what is it look, look like matsushita panasonic capacitor yeah lots of nichicons lots of nichicons pcb is actually good and there's nothing horrible on this side and on the back side a few another big big ass capacitor is missing so on the back side yeah looking good too very nice smd wave soldering looks like Oh, there's a bodge. Ha! Look at this. This is a bodge. It's a diode of a sword. Yeah, cool. Oh, yes, let me take a picture of this side. Oh, some kind of crud came out of this. Okay, let me take this picture. And I will um, continue with the chassis. Okay, so I took some photos of the front and the back. Let's put it to the side, also clean up right here, remove some crud. Let's look at the optical pickup here. This supposedly, yeah, can be removed just like this. Mm, there is some kind of crud in here. Oh no, this is whatever it is. Maybe some lubricant. Mm hmm. Looks like we have quite familiar motor. I'm not sure if this is the same Matsushita that I have in that Panasonic, but it's very looking alike. Yeah. So this motor is DC motor to drive the um, uh, slat, optical pickup slat, and this motor is to drive the the disc. Yeah, and this is very similar looking to what I have in um, in other CD player, but it feels much heavier. All this contraption, so yeah, yeah, okay. And this is the pro. Wait, didn't mess it up. I hope. And over here, this KSS three three one A. I assume this is the name of the whole optical pickup assembly, or maybe this. KSM331 IARNS. Okay, good to know. Motor 1 motor made in Taiwan, and this motor. Uh, maybe I can. No, oh, there's a lot. There's some dust in. Not dust and hairs in that pickup. Made in China, okay. Yeah, so the not most top quality components right here. Okay, we just need to lubricate this stuff and we probably gonna just put it back on. That's pretty much it and test it if it's still working after my poking around. I'm gonna use a little bit of lubricant. Use it sparingly, not like this, but I'm gonna remove excess. I'm gonna put a little bit here and again remove excess. You see, this thing is not even metal, so yeah. Because if you leave too much of a lubricant, it's gonna just collect more and more crop, and then it's gonna crop out eventually. All right, I think it's good enough or good actually good to go okay let's put it back on I'll just assemble it Yeah, I'm not sure about all this goop. Could not remove this. It's just some sort of like glue or I don't even know what is this. 
yeah so yeah whatever I'm gonna be there forever not gonna put this back on all right so she's just let's put our board back on maybe it's easier just to do like this That's good. It just goes like this, there is nothing <laughs> going on here. Okay, and then this top part clips on. Oh, yeah, how about motors? Okay, that's my bad. Probably better to do like this. Okay, that's not cool, but okay. <laughs> okay, that's another way of doing it. That's another way of doing it. Maybe it's even easier way of doing it. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it like this. Trins. Then we just align it. Make sure it's all aligned nicely. Okay. All right. Cool. So we put it together, just let's just plop some batteries and, and see how it plays. Probably gonna play, why not?
Oh yeah, this guy is skipping like no tomorrow. It's even skipping without a let me use different CD. Well, at least it spins. Yeah, this player skips constantly, and I don't know why it does that. Wow, very, very sensitive. This is crazy. Alright guys, I think it's gonna be it. I just wanted to see what's inside this CD player. I'm not sure if it's any of any value. Looks like it's skipping disc like no tomorrow, but Lance was actually pretty clean, so I'm not sure maybe it just needs some tweaking or I do not know. But uh, here we are. You saw what's inside now. You know, they would like to have a point of reference between different CD players or discmans to just to understand how they made and uh, what's inside, what kind of quality of components is is in there yeah thank you guys for watching see you next time stay tuned and ciao hey bonus video after i cleaned up oops after i actually uh looked at the lens and it was actually dirty so after I, it, it didn't, didn't look like that but when i used my little magnifier glass i noticed that it is dirty so i cleaned it up it's actually improved now now it's actually not skipping as bad obviously it's skipping when you rattle it but when it stays on the desk it's does it's not skipping anymore so yeah it's important clean your lenses